Hey team, Coach Hay here. And this one is going to be a quick hitter on, we're going to refresh on annotation. And there's a full video, a full tutorial on how to do an annotation. And that should be here and in the description. But I'm going to just do a quick overview uh, for you guys who want a refresher before we start Unit 3 and Unit 4, respectively. New ZLA is so great because not only does it have the different levels, different languages, but it has so many features that I just want you guys to utilize them so that you can get your full effect from New ZLA and become better with reading comprehension. So to start with, I want you, every time I assign you an article, to open the questions first. This is really helpful because when you read the questions first, you know what you're looking for. And when you know what you're looking for, it helps with your annotation. And it becomes a cycle of success. So now that you've read your questions, you're going to get to your annotation guide. So first things first, yellow. Yellow is your most important one. When you double click, it will come up yellow. And the start of every article, you should read your questions. And now you know what you're looking for. So when you come to it in your article, you highlight it, you double click, highlight it, and click yellow. Yellow is going to be where you show me in the article where the passage or quote or what have you that you need to answer the question. Then green. Green is for vocabulary. So a lot of times there's vocabulary questions. So when you see a vocabulary question and they ask you to define capitalism, when you find capitalism for the first time, you're going to highlight it in green. Also, you want to highlight anything we've talked about in class. So if we were talking about mercantilism, you're going to be see mercantilism in the article. You're going to be like, oh, green. Blue. Now, this is the tricky one. There is a lot of people. This is for subjective statements. I call it author's bias. This is when they say something that is not objective. <clears throat> so if you see words like best, worst, greatest, heartless, stupid, this is where it's a subjective statement. If it cannot be backed up by facts, and again, every author uses them best and worst, so oh, they're the greatest. Instead of them saying, this person had the most amount of wealth in this empire's history. They say this is the greatest person in this person in this his, uh, empire's history. So when you see the greatest, anything like that, highlight in blue. And finally, red. Ask me a question. I want you to ask me one question per article. You can ask me more, but I want you to at least ask me one. And please don't ask me, what does this word mean? You have Google. You're on a computer. I know you have Google. Just Google it. I want you to ask me good questions, like, how do we even know this happened? Why would people follow them? What, whatever makes you curious, highlight it in red. So this has been the Quick Hit Annotation Guide. Again, there's a full tutorial on how to do this. Just wanted to make a quick one for you guys for Unit 3, Unit 4, and Unit 5. All right, team. See you next time. Be smart. Be safe.